Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. At this point, ChatGPT can do just about anything, from answering your work emails to flirting on Tinder right from your iPhone. In this video, we are going to be talking about some of the most mind-blowing AI tools available right now. I know firsthand how annoying it is to watch a YouTuber review a cool tool, then go try it out yourself, only to spend time signing up and then get hit with the pop-up asking you to subscribe to a paid plan because the tool isn't actually free. So with that in mind, all of the tools I am presenting today are free to use. People often complain that the biggest disadvantage of ChatGPT is its limitation to the data from before September 2021. I personally often use Perplexity, which is basically ChatGPT but connected to the internet, exactly for this reason. But OpenAI just announced that is no longer the case. ChatGPT can now browse the internet to provide you with current information complete with direct links to sources. That's amazing for sure, but the catch is that this feature is only available to Plus and Enterprise users. If you are a free user, don't worry, here's a way to get around this limitation. Go to Chrome and search for a plugin called WebChatGPT. Click on the first link and add the extension to your Chrome browser. When you go back to ChatGPT, you'll see a little switch that you can toggle on to connect straight to Google. Now you can ask it just about anything, even current events, like what happened during MetaConnect 2023. It will do the research for you and then reply. So even though this event took place only a few days ago, ChatGPT can now respond to such requests. There is also a bunch of other cool things you can do with this extension. For example, when you go and Google something like where to buy an iPhone 15 in Miami. It seems to scan all the search results and then come up with its own answer based on what it found. Pretty cool, right? Let me show you a few more use cases available now with this web access. You can now use ChatGPT to find a recently released software to solve your problems. There are hundreds of startups that were founded this year alone that use AI to solve all sorts of problems. You can ask ChatGPT to find the relevant software to solve your particular needs. For example, I ask it to provide me with the top software that uses AI to generate leads for sales in IT. It will provide you with a list of tools tailored to your specifications, so be as specific as possible. And in addition to the tools themselves, it will also provide a description next to each software. And one more interesting use case is its new ability to analyze links. You can paste a URL, ask what the site is about, and you will receive a brief summary of the content from that site. The next tool allows you to have ChatGPT pretty much everywhere. Go back into Chrome and download an extension called ChatSonic. Here's what it looks like. Once you've added the extension, check this out. If you go into your emails and reply to someone, you'll see this brand new tool where you can briefly type out what you'd like your reply to be, then choose a tone like negative or positive, Click reply and ChatSonic, which uses ChatGPT, will instantly write an email reply for you in just a few seconds. For me, it is very useful at work. I've always been looking for time-saving tools like this one because, you know, when replying to work emails, even if you could reply only with one word, you are kind of expected to type the whole intro and closure, like, I hope this email finds you well, please be informed, blah, 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 best regards, you know how it goes, right? Now, I just type one word and all add-ons are automatically added by this tool <laughs> and that's really time-saving. You can also use ChatSonic to compose an entire email from scratch. Once you've typed out roughly what you'd like your email to include, select a tone, then just hit the right button and it will compose an entire email for you with that specific tone in mind. But just in case, make sure to read it over and maybe, you know, make some minor corrections before sending it out. And there is still so much more you can do with it. For example, within Twitter or now X, you can actually get it to write your tweets for you. Let's say I'd like to tweet about one of my biggest regrets is not starting a company in my 20s. Choose the tone, then hit the right button and I get a nice little tweet with emojis and everything that is expected. You can do the same on LinkedIn, use it to write a post or directly in your messages. LinkedIn is often used for business conversations, so you are also sometimes 
supposed to write professionally. Again, just give it a rough idea what you want to say, then choose a tone, click write, and Chatsonic will do the rest. The same applies to YouTube comments, Google Docs, and pretty much everywhere on the internet. On Facebook, for example, many small and medium-sized businesses use their Facebook pages for communication with customers. Now you can employ Chatsonic and reply with a professional tone directly within Facebook Messenger. And all of that is for free. So we have connected ChatGPT to the internet. We have integrated it to all the popular sites you use on Chrome browser. Now let's bring it to mobile. Head on over to the App Store and search for Spellwise. Install it on your iPhone and it will add an additional AI keyboard which you can use anywhere on your phone. And when I say anywhere, I mean whenever you can type on your phone, you can use this AI keyboard. For example, I go to Twitter, create a post and give it a rough idea of what I want to say. Let's say I am tired. Then I need to select this text and right inside the Twitter app, I just switch the keyboard and I get a bunch of useful AI options here. From checking the grammar, choosing a tone of my language, translating it, or if I don't like it, I can undo and go back to my original text. Also, I can regenerate again and again until I like it. But in this case, I want to make it a tweet, right? So I tap format, choose the tweet option, and it creates a nice little tweet for me. As I said, the possibilities are truly endless. You can use it to reply to emails from your phone, chat on Instagram, or even flirt on Tinder. Right inside the app, whenever you want to make your messages a bit more spicy or flirty, just select the tone flirty and it will do the rest. The next tool is one of the coolest things you can do with ChatGPT. I mean, I love using the ChatGPT mobile app because there you can communicate with ChatGPT using your voice instead of typing. And it's just so much faster and easier for me. Now you can do it from your desktop too. The extension is called Talk to ChatGPT and it's completely free. Once you've installed it, you'll see a little box in the ChatGPT window. Just click start and you can ask questions with your voice. It will automatically type out what you say and ChatGPT will respond back. What is the capital of Poland? The capital of Poland is Warsaw. Sources Wikipedia, Vistula. To make things even more interesting, go to 11labs.io, sign up for a free account, then go to your profile and copy your API key. Paste it into Talk to Chat GPT and you'll be able to select from around 35 AI voices. They are all really, really great. And for better speech recognition, just in case, select your language and enjoy the magic. Hey, tell me a story about Elon Musk. Answer Elon Musk, a visionary entrepreneur has a fascinating life story. Born in South Africa in 1971. This tool is the most intuitive I have ever used. I'm talking about Google Workspace Labs. If you haven't heard of it, make sure to go and enable it because it is incredible. Go to Google, search for Workspace Labs, click the link, accept all the policies, submit, and it's done. You can obviously use it across all of the Google Workspace apps and it is so powerful. You can use it in docs, for example, change the tone, summarize, or use a custom prompt maybe. You can use it in spreadsheets. For instance, you can type outreach tracking table and boom, the template of the table is ready without any manual input from you. If you need to create a presentation in Google Slides, look, there is now a window to generate images. Just describe your idea, let's say a new barbershop. Click create, wait a few moments and just Check out how great the quality is. I mean, insane. Now, I said it is the most intuitive tool for me because Firstly, it's not a third-party extension that enables ChatGPT for Google products. That's a native AI tool integrated into Google products by Google, so it is much more user-friendly. Secondly, it doesn't use the same large language model as ChatGPT. Google has its own LLM, which is called Palm 2. Palm 2 is Google's next generation large language model. The model is really different than anything that we've built before. Palm 2 is very good at math, at code, at uh, advanced reasoning, and then also at multilingual tasks like translation. You can really tell the difference compared to GPT-based tools. If you ask it to change the tone of your text, it does it differently, and I must admit, 
it works better. The only thing to keep in mind is that it's not available in all countries as of yet, but you can use VPN to enable it with no issues at all. The next tool is one of the best for summaries. And trust me, I've tried like thousands of AI tools designed for making summaries. This one is called ChatGPT Summary for Chrome. Once you add it to your Chrome browser, you can click on the icon to instantly generate a brief summary of any video or article. You can even customize the summary by changing the initial prompt. And obviously, this extension is especially helpful for long articles as it can quickly extract the most important points. Now, check this out. You can get an unlimited art generations forever by downloading an app called Diffusion B. Just go to this site and download the app. The Windows version is not available for now, but it's coming soon, so don't worry. Once you've installed and opened the app, you can input the text prompt. I mean, type whatever you want to generate art. Over here, you can select additional styles options to get even more precise results. When you are done, click Generate and you get epic artwork generated by this app on your computer without the internet or paying a dime. So it is extremely useful if you are working on the go, if you are traveling a lot, you'll be always armed to keep on the work. All right, I'm going to share so much more in my next videos. So stay tuned, like this video and subscribe because AI is getting bigger and bigger and you definitely don't wanna miss it. See you.